you know what? Speaking of fire danger, now that we've got all of our technical issues Speaking all ironed. Fire danger. <laughs> Here's all Steve. Yeah. Steve, we always like to light things know, back no, no. here. But this is pretty serious. You know what? Colorado. I was I was up uh, in Steamboat and in Granby over the weekend with the kids, and and I couldn't believe how much dead uh, wood there is up there on the hillside. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what we're seeing in Colorado. The, the so forestry. Brown. Yeah, the, the services say that there's up to like 750,000 acres of this dead stuff kind of sitting up there. And so extreme fire hazard, and I have a demo to be able to show you, and then I want to show you some things with the wood as well. Okay. Um, for demo purpose, here, put your glasses on. My glasses. For demo purposes, I have a spore here called Lycopodium. Okay. And I'll put the spore down in here, and I just want to show you that by itself, when we try to light the spore on fire, absolutely nothing happens. So when we come down here and try to light it on fire like this, it doesn't uh -huh. burn. Right. But when it's exposed in the air because of the oxygen around the particles, then we get a little bit of flame. So here, watch this. So here's our candle. Right. And now watch what happens when that spore is now up and in the air. Woo! That's just an amazing... <laughs> Hello, is that <laughs> yeah, absolutely no amazing? Yeah. So they're saying that kind of flash fire, that thing that we would see there here, look at this, that flash kind of fire, yeah. watch this, watch. Wow. It's just amazing. Uh -huh. That's exactly what happens with these trees. So if you look over here, look at all the oxygen around those needles. They say that they don't only burn, that they almost explode like a firecracker. Oh, they just really? go up this way. So pretty amazing to see the fire danger. The, the piece that I thought was interesting was this. Take a look at this. This okay. is a piece of log that's been cut. Yeah. The beetle that gets into it, this mountain pine beetle gets in, has a fungus on its back, and then you get this blue staining Ooh. kind of effect. You see this? Yeah. So uh, this is a tree that was dead, and they cut it down. Okay. I asked one of the loggers uh, up in Steamboat if he would do the same thing. And if you put a little bit of water on it here watch this let me pour water on it right. see the blue stain is there uh -huh. this is a perfectly green tree so on no the outside kidding. it looked like it was okay but the pine beetles already gotten into the whole piece okay um, so and what it does is this fungus now almost stops the water so literally it starves the tree of water from top to bottom and that's why they get so brown so quickly so it's it's dead up there so what we have to do is we have to just make sure that we maintain uh, the fire safety around it and, and this is making some beautiful cabinets and so we can use this wood in different ways well so so that's that's kind of, I guess, turning it around to be a good thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. As much as, as much as we can, we just have to be uh, open to that kind of thing. I think it's beautiful wood. It we is really beautiful it. wood. Yeah. Well, Steve, thanks so much for this explanation. And there's a lot on the website. I, I was intrigued by it, so I put a lot up on the website.